Okay, so I thought I'd uh, demonstrate a little bit of what I was trying to do with this uh, head removal fixture. Um, I saw this with the Tormac uh, PC NC, uh, what is it, 7700? Um, or, sorry, 770. Uh, they showed this in the video, and I thought it was kind of a neat idea. I wanted to see what I could, uh, if I could come up with something similar. Uh, so this is basically just a big aluminum block um, clamped down to the table with some uh, cap head screws. And in the aluminum block is a uh, three-quarter inch pin um, that's sunk down into the block about uh, an inch and a half with some Loctite um, holding that. And it's also a uh, it's also an interference fit. I had to heat the aluminum block on the stove in order to be able to drop that pin down inside. So once it cooled, it should have a really nice grip on it. Um, <clears throat> the other portion of the pin sticks up above the block and actually goes into the uh, a three-quarter inch collet in the spindle. Uh, so basically, I just take this block and insert it into the spindle, clamp it down, and then I bring it down to the table and line it up so that it's matching up with one of my... Uh, with one of my... Uh, T slots here and just go ahead and bring it down to the table so that it's sitting flat against that table and then once it's doing that I go ahead and I tighten up those cap screws and that locks the uh, block down to the table so it's now locked in the spindle locked onto the table so now I go through and I did all the preparation to uh, pull the head loose from the uh, Z saddle and up underneath here I've, uh, I've released all the bolts that are uh, that are holding the head. So now what I should be able to do is uh, jog the head, or sorry, jog the table forward and that should pull the head with it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've got all the t the bolts are free, and the head is now just sitting free on the uh, on that spindle block. And so now, whenever I need to go and put this back together, I can actually have my hands free from holding the head here. Um, I don't need to hang on to it, and I can line those bolts up and then use my keyboard to jog this thing back into place. Uh, I don't think I would really want to have that load sitting on the spindle for uh, for a real long time, but it should be good for for pulling it loose and taking it off. I know that the uh, the Tormach head is using an R8 spindle and it's, uh, it's quite a bit heavier than the head we're talking about here. So I think theirs is close to, um, what is it, 140 pounds? On the seven or on the seven seventy, and uh, I think we're looking more like ninety pounds on this guy, but it still makes it a world easier um, pulling this off. So, um, anybody's free to rip this idea off if they're okay with doing it. I didn't didn't hear any uh, anybody saying that I absolutely should not do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Hopefully, I do. Hopefully, this doesn't damage anything. I don't think it will. But there you go, that's my, uh, that's my head removal aid.